So here we are, we're about to prepare the uh, petri dishes. Um, so what we're doing is we're just giving each petri dish the lid and the base a slight spray with alcohol. This is 95% ethanol. Um, this will just uh, make sure that there is no contaminations in there. Um, so that when we apply the, um, the agar to the dish, it will last a little bit longer. It won't get any contaminations. So this is a little bit of a cheat. Okay. Okay, now you'll see that we're stacking the petri dishes in stacks of three. This is just easy, an uh, easy number to work with when you're moving, uh, filling with agar, closing, moving, filling with agar, moving, closing. You'll see it in the, when we get to that stage. So, before we get started pouring the agar into the um, petri dishes, we're going to clean the area. We're going to spray everything with alcohol. We're going to wipe everything down, arms, gloves. And then before we transport the dishes in, we will clean all the dishes before putting them into the environment. So everything is absolutely clean. Okay? Well, it's always handy to have these things. Away, everything, wipe everything. All you're wanting to do is make sure the alcohol goes on everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you're leaving nothing. We're all cleaned up, so we'll start the, the pump so that it starts pumping. Now, the idea of this pump is to flow air, so we can see that there's air coming out through here and through here. So this is showing us that there's clean air being pulled in and we can work inside this environment without any Just be careful with this because the jar can become very uh, slippy and you have a tendency to make sure you get into these crevices because that's where you're going to be opening it from. Okay. So the idea behind this is to work as quick as possible. Um, so we want to be able to basically lift, pour, close, move, lift, pour, 
closed move and just keep the process as quick as possible so you don't get any contaminations into the petri dishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we've got those petri dishes, um, we can leave them on the side now just to cool down. We don't want to open up the petri dishes anymore. Um, they need to be sealed until we're ready to inoculate them. You want basically around about a millimeter of uh, agar on the bottom of the petri dish. Because um, that's all you need for the mycelium to colonize the, the petri dish. Okay.